Hello, my awesome Cappies. Happy Friday to you. Happy weekend to you. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn. For Capricorn's highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Capis in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Capis in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey. This one wants to show up as extra message. Yeah, this is you trying to find balance. You feel like you're being pulled in many different directions, trying to make many different decisions of importance to you. You love your soulmate, but you view them as someone who's not consistent in your life someone who's disappointing you and because of their wishy-washy behavior you asking you questioning their feelings for you how much do they really care about you yeah it looks like their behavior does not match their feelings for you they love you deeply they just not consistent in your life yeah look how guarded you are with your heart this is you trying to make wise decision um Using your sound judgment, logic, intuition, you don't want to be swayed by your emotions in making that final decision about your soulmate situation. Yeah. Oh, you're so connected from past lives with them. It's going to be really hard for you to completely let them go. I'm going to be honest with you because you guys have so lessons together. You see this? You have karma to balance together. That means... You have soul lessons to learn from each other. You see this? Um, hmm. Let's see. A lot of you are dealing with water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also Leo popping up and Sagittarius very strongly here. And Aquarius. Universe, please show us um, what's coming up for Capis. And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh, this is beautiful. This is you trying to be patient. You're very honest with yourself, objective. You're not sugarcoating anything. You're being very honest with yourself because you want to make wise decisions for yourself in your life. Some kind of healing is showing up here for you. So if you've been feeling depressed, low on energy, under the weather, or sick, this is you taking proper steps and allowing yourself to heal. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So you feel heartbroken in this soulmate relationship. You don't feel loved by them. You feel heartbroken. This is the worst card in the whole deck. You're trying to heal from heartbreak. Yeah. This is the worst card in the whole deck. Heartbreak. This is you trying to figure out how to fix this situation, what to do. You feel that you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. Yeah, this is you also needing to be careful with money because some people are trying to take advantage of you financially. Be careful. Remember, you're not the bank. You're not the loan center because if you give someone money or lend them money, they won't repay you. No, no, they won't. They're just going to come back for more. Remember, people need to balance their own financial karma. Take accountability for their frivolous spending habits. Some people apparently feel you're doing better financially than they are and they're entitled to your money. No, nobody is entitled to your money. No, they need to take accountability for their financial spendings, right? Universe, please show us what's coming up for my cappies. Yeah, this is you. Yeah, healing is showing up here for you. So healing from heartbreak, healing from a low vibration energy. This is you overall picking yourself up, shaking yourself off and moving on with your life. Yeah. 
yeah, you realize that you can't really depend on anyone but yourself in life. Yeah, and this is you learning that lesson. That even people with good intentions will disappoint you greatly. On only one person you can depend on in life, for sure, is yourself. Yeah, as you get older, you realize that is more and more true. Yeah, so somebody's trying to uh, talk you into doing some kind of financial uh, deals or lend money to them. Be careful with money right now. Yeah, because somebody is trying to convince you of something that is not true and they're going to gain financially at your expense. So be careful trusting people. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Capis in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their summit journey? Wow. This person of yours feels a lot of guilt, regret, heartbreak, your soulmate. This means apologies, peace offerings. Yeah. You've been through a lot of betrayal from different people, including family members you trusted. A lot of people caused you heartbreak. You see this? Yeah, you've been through a lot of betrayal. Yeah, this is you trying to pick yourself up. You really have... Uh, heavy duty karma to balance meaning soul lessons that you agreed to learn with your soulmate and those difficult people in your life uh, especially toxic relatives toxic co-workers you're going through a lot yeah you allowed yourself in this incarnation to learn important lessons from very difficult challenging relationships with family members soulmates yeah you are very brave soul because you try to squeeze all those lessons in one lifetime, which means that if you're successful at balancing those karmic debts that you agreed to balance in this lifetime, your next incarnation will be so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be so much easier for you. Next incarnation. Let's see. You know, please show us what is going on currently with that summit of Cappies that Cappies have been dealing with that showed up as a challenge and how is that so made of cappies towards cappies at this time especially emotionally oh yeah you guys have karma on a grand scale justice now so we just saw wheel of fortune twice now we see justice karma on a grand scale you guys have unfinished business together yeah, you and your soulmate. They love you a lot, but they didn't show you that love. They didn't make you feel loved like they should have. Yeah, they also not the best communicators because the sword is pointing down. They don't really listen much. Um, this person loves you a lot, though. They're holding on to you because they still love you. If they didn't love you, they would have moved on with their life already. Yeah, they wouldn't be thinking of you. They're trying to figure out what to do because they realize they can't disconnect from you emotionally. They have so much respect for you, view you as a fabulous, highly vibrational empress energy, meaning you are a person of quality. They have a lot of respect for you. Yeah, universe, please show us. So if they didn't see that when they had you, now that they don't have you, they see it now. They see a worth value. And how much you mean to them. This person can be very proud. They can be charming, convincing, persuasive when they want something badly enough. Yeah. Don't let them charm you with pretty words. They need to prove themselves to you through actions if they want new beginning with you. Look, you're showing up twice as fabulous, highly vibrational empress energy. How beautiful is this? They realize your worth value, finally. Look how scared they are of your rejection judgment. This person's panicking, doesn't know what to do next because they love you. Yeah, you see, they realize they can't just sit there waiting for things to happen. They need to take action. Yeah, so they are emotionally unfulfilled without you. They don't feel happy without you. Yeah, this person is very charming, attractive, alluring, enigmatic, charismatic. They know how to initially attract people to them, but they have a hard time 
being consistent in people's lives, uh, keeping these people in their life. You see this? They know how to get um, the interest from other people. They just don't know how to keep those people in their life. You see this? You guys have definitely karma on a grand scale. Wheel of Fortune again with justice this time. So uh, you have unfinished lessons uh, together. So even if you decide to use your free will in this lifetime in such a way where you let them go completely, you're going to have to pick up where you leave off next incarnation. You have unfinished lessons, soul lessons. This means apologies. This person realizes they disappointed you greatly and that they owe you sincere apologies. But honestly, apologies are so just words. They need to do more than just give you words. They need to prove themselves to you through actions. And they know that already. They know that. They know they need to uh, prove themselves to you through actions. The question is, will they? They have so much heartbreak, so much regret, so much sadness. Hmm. They learning valuable lessons. Yeah. Let's see, Cappies, what's going on over here? You know, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies? Look how scared they are of your rejection judgment. You t cut them out of your life. You told them what time it is. You were very blunt, honest, direct. They didn't like what you said, but they agree with you. They appreciate your honesty. They agree with you. Yeah, they do. They know you were right. Mm -hmm. They give you credit. Yeah, it's hard for you to trust people because you've been through so much betrayal, Cappies. You've been through a lot of betrayal. Yeah, you see a lot of betrayal showing up here with the demonic wings and the snake popping up here and the devil energy. You've been through a lot of betrayal in your life from number of people. You see this? It's hard for you to trust people. Yeah. New soulmates popping up in your life, showing up here with two of wands. You're going to pick and choose who you feel is best suitable for you. Or if you choose to be alone for a while, that's totally up to you, Cappies. You certainly have free will to make those decisions for yourself, who you want to be with, right? We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as two of wands. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you at this time what they're planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so cappies click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys